Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of 4, Lord of the Rings mod as Isengard. Last episode, we, well, we, we lost two episodes. We basically built up our nation that we have right now. We have a kind of sizable force, not large enough, definitely not even close to large enough. Well, technically, tens of thousands, but my lord, there is no such force. Well, I have 388,000, but in this mod, that's not even close to enough what I will need to bring down Rohan because as many of you mentioned in the comments they are guaranteed by Gondor bastards but let's bring up a couple of things you also said in the last two episodes well one of them was Daniel read the books they will still you will still love the movies even if you read the books it just explains some stuff it just adds some more content and while well, they do differ from the movies but that I will still love them so I will I'll see if I can take some time to actually read the books yeah they're not they're not right here right right there are other place never mind um yeah so I will see if I can actually find some time to actually read the books thank you thank you guys um so the other thing Let's see, once that you want me to just take a world conquest, take over everyone, including Switzerland and Soviet Union, maybe. I will say maybe on these two, but otherwise taking over all of these nations. Yeah, sure, we can make a big Isengard. Um, what else? Um, name the infantry division White Hand and tank divisions White Fist. Well, I don't know if I will actually get any tank divisions because, I don't know, it doesn't feel right. But of course I can name these guys White if I can spell to white, that is, which is like this, white hand, they're basically the white hand of Saruman, and let's see, and then we'll see if we rename any one of these, depending on, well, if we do anything with them, uh, let's see, then we also had, hmm, books ruin the movies, someone, a couple of people of you actually said that, uh, then we have time to, um, well, from the second episode, time to encircle three thirds of Rowan's armies. No, they're guaranteed by Gondor, so there wouldn't be anything, well, any happy moments like that. Ugh. Even Rohan just have a too big of an army right now, so that's kind of ridiculous. It sucks. And uh, wait, you're doing fortify Helm's Deep, but I did a focus that destroyed your forts right there. Oh, you're just gonna get a general two fort level everywhere right here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sorry, I didn't do an April Fool's, like, I simply didn't have time to do one. I was gonna do a Minecraft stream, so I might still do it, since I kind of promised it. Even though I will probably hate myself for it, but... Maybe, maybe. Um, integrity, yeah, integrity, I don't know what happened with me last episode. Integrity, it's not that hard. Integrity, uh, let's see. Yeah, and I don't need to do the focus. I only have a well, war goal against Rohan. That's very true, but yeah, I'm not gonna use it right now. We're gonna have to just relax a bit and actually gain some manpower right now. We need at least another stack of troops stationed right here. Actually, we could probably, we if we did something like this, if we got a level three, fourth level, let's see, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and we got nine divisions stationed right here we could probably hold off gondor right there maybe uh let's see we're gonna get the fortification specialist perfect that was the one i was looking for uh we're gonna bump this one to limit conscription just in case just in case it helps for some reason. I don't think it should, but yeah. Uh, we have both of these ones, plus, yeah, 30% uh, recruit population. So we should just see this manpower slowly but steadily, well, rise, rise quite, quite immensely. Uh, I'm thinking if we are going to have any chance of actually attacking Rohan in, well, the last, well, in the next couple of years, we will have to join with him. We'll have to join with Sauron and actually pull some of Gondor's forces away from this front line and well be a bit worried about no Mordor we're probably not gonna call them into the war so don't worry I'm not gonna use them I think but we're we're gonna we just let them be there and maybe we'll, we'll see what we do we'll see what we do and then we're gonna do this focus just because it leads forward to rally the tribes of the East Dunlan which is gonna, well, spawn some I, uh, ISR militia, which I probably just will disband because, well, I want the manpower for my Uruks instead. Just some sneaky stuff right there. 
So, what else? Uh, crude steel swords, very good. Let's just upgrade the swords I have right now. Uh, we're missing steel and tungsten. Then, oh wait, wait, what are you doing? Warwick Dale. Uh, where's Dale? Oh, right here. Right, oh, the time, really? Really, you, you... Oh wait, you're in the dark pact. Okay, then, yeah, then fine. Just uh, wondering... Oh, actually, you're gonna reach him like this. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why? Okay, we'll see. Uh, anyway, let's see. Um, Anti-air guns, we probably don't need that. Anti-tank guns, we probably don't need that either. You're doing already progress right there. Let's see, industry. Yeah, we're gonna get the next construction because now we're actually gonna have some... Well, it's actually gonna be pretty good for us to have that. Uh, building the last... Lost level right here. Oh, because it increased tungsten and stuff like that. Actually, that's just gonna be aluminum. Then let's just ignore that one. Thank you. Uh, Rally of tribes of East Dunland. Yeah, uh, let's see. East Dunland. So right here. North. Oh, there. East Dunland. Hopefully, it's gonna be quite many because I need a lot of manpower right now. Especially, like, I can't even fill the manpower right here. We just almost get enough manpower for the next wave so basically we almost get the next enough manpower for five units right there which is kind of 50k ma okay not even close to enough so we get about 30 38,000 manpower for every well for every 50,000 we deploy so they're always a bit delayed right there call to arms from mordor we are gonna decline it because yeah you can go to hell oh wait 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 what what happened with you right now this entire thing just exploded. So basically the war of end times has all of begun. Holy crap. Okay. Um, we might have to involve ourselves then slightly. Uh, you guys. You 4,000 men right here. Um, I'm going to have to take you 8 units right here. Deploy against Gondor. Uh, take these guys. Where are the unemployed? Yeah, here they Oh, these were the tribesmen. I'll see 9,000 men and actually pretty decent. Well, I'm still gonna take all of you, I think. Yeah, all the tribes men at militia right here. Just disband. That's 65,000 manpower. Very good. Uh, let's see, these 8,000 troops came right there. And we're just gonna get one more wave of these troops. Basically, I'm not gonna save any manpower for reserves. We just need men out on the field right now. Now we're gonna betray Mordor. Basically betray them and then declare the war because otherwise if I declare the war right now Then we will most likely get involved in the same war I want to keep it a separate war so I can actually take the stuff I want and not be forced to Well forced by mortar to do any special things uh, Let's see Kingdom of Gondor. I'm gonna start training with three orcs of Moria because it seems like those orcs won. Yeah Sorry, sorry, sorry dwarves you lost so that's gonna take another 35 days while these troops are getting trained. Let's do just one wave and the rest of this manpower, they're gonna be the reserves for the war itself. Uh, let's see, disperse industry, very good. Then we're gonna go down and I think continue. No, we're not, we're gonna get advanced machine tools apparently. Very nice, uh, 1.7 thousand. Uh, let's see, 1.7 thousand archers, right, archers. Archers are the artillery. Uh, let's see, archers, that's pretty combat with, and um, we do have enough for that. Should we add some more, basically, skirmishers? What? And uh, no, we're gonna save that at least, and then we're gonna add... Oh, wait, it is, it is skirmishers. Oh, it is. Okay, never mind. Then we're gonna see if we can add two more skirmishers right there. That would be nice. That would bump us up to 34, would be some nice bonuses right there, especially defense. So we're gonna do it and just hope our manpower is enough. And it was just enough. Dawn of Rivendell initiative. The Rivendell led alliance by former Anorian regions as well as Elven nations set to launch this coming Sunday. According to internal sources, the alliance is led by Imladris leader as well as respected war and Lord Elrond who support who appointed a new political chamber in celebration of this union. The alliance has been dubbed Rivendell Initiative and aims to stop opposing Mordor influence on western regions. Rivendell authorities claim the door is still open if the other nations feel free to join the coalition. So that's kind of bad. Because if I now declare my war we might get well be at war on two fronts which would be kind of bad for us. Well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Uh, Om Logistics, yeah, I actually would like that attrition guy. 
And we did not have enough manpower for all of this. So we're going to cancel two troops, I think. That just ate up instantly. Let's see how much are we actually missing. We're missing, oh god, we're missing like 6,000 more troops. So let's see, we're going to, we, well, that was nice. Oh, great, right, because we removed them, then that's fine in another way. Uh, we betrayed Sauron, very good, our own way. We can do that right now, but I think I'm going to go down and actually do, uh, let's see, yeah. Improved steel manufacturing, I think that was the one I wanted to go because that also leads to three times land doctrine bonus. Or we could just go right here and actually get some more civilian and military factories and then later go. Yeah, that sounds nice. So we have a border right here. We're gonna do this and we're gonna cancel you. We're gonna make one. Basically, the rest you'll just have a fort at least. That's gonna be well, a fort is better than nothing. And let's see, are we gonna get these troops out? Yeah, we're just gonna deploy them right away. We're gonna now add them to actually the Red Division and add them to this front against Rohan. Rohan is mine. Gondor is doing pretty good progress. Let's see, Gondor right here. How much do you actually have against me? God, that's awful. Faramir is dead. The well respected general Gondor Faramir is dead. Reportedly, his forces were overwhelmed at Gondor Gate of Oskiliath by Legion Mordor Orcs. The general's father, Denfro, declined to give a statement, saying instead that he has never been so heartbroken. And uh, that was something spelled wrong right there. I think. I thought I saw something right there. Uh, so we're slightly missing a couple of men. That's going to be fixed in a couple of weeks. I just want these to be up and running. And then we're going to actually declare the war. God, we're probably gonna fail quite horrendously, but it was part. It's part of the fun to see how this alliance works. Uh, let's see. So you are guaranteed by, you is guaranteed by Kingwood Dale, and which uh, Kingwood Dale? Wait, are you guaranteeing? You are in the Northern Protectorate, which is only you. No, it's you and Kingdom of Erebor. Let's see. If I declare war against Gondor. Then it's basically the same thing right there. So I will have to be at war with several nations that god damn it. Well, we're gonna clear this war anyway. See if they attack me. Yes, they very much do. Then we're gonna have to reinforce a couple of these ones. Uh, a couple of non-aggression packs coming. I'm gonna accept them for now at least. Can we go straight forward right here and break the Gondors Gondorians? No. It's the same thing right there. The river right there is just way too big and way too well well defended thing right here. Uh, so let's just see if we can... Oh god, they actually pushed me back quite easily right here. Holy crap. And they just most likely going to continue with that. They just have way too many forces right now. Uh, we're going to get the helmets right there. And you did a naval invasion? Really? You did a naval invasion? How, how could you even add a plan to do this? Up and rolling. That kind of sucks, but um, we'll just have to... Well, we are cutting off their supply instantly. And of course, you cut off me right there now because, yeah, I abandoned that front. Well, that was just bl hashtag blame me. My own fault. But yeah, we'll actually have to just wait and defend right now. And we can't actually spare having any troops against the ends right now. So we're just gonna deploy them right here to try to stop this naval invasion if that works. Uh, what the hell are you doing? No, 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 you're gonna stay at this port. You're gonna stay at this port. You, you got in into that mess. You're gonna see if you can actually save that mess. Uh, let's see, you two, you two divisions, see if you can break that. You very much can't. And wh where are you getting this supply from? From Gondor, maybe? Yeah, we actually took that, very good. So we are at least managing to beat some of their divisions. And now, of course, you're getting new supply from the north. But we could maybe break this off. No, let's attack right there. Let's not at least give them the ports for free now. When I actually manage to retake some. God, this is awful. This is truly, truly awful. Uh, maybe we should just join up with Sauron again. We must join them with him. We must join them with Sauron. Uh, let's see. Enhance weapon production and see if we can once again attack right here. Come on. No, you're not going to go in that way. We're just going to go in right here and overrun those divisions, please. Thank you. At least a small victory for me. And then you're going to go up right here and see if you can just cut the units off completely. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Well, you are pretty much slaughtered a bit right here. 
So let's see if we can actually push into Rohan something. The Gondorians is a bit harder to break, and Eomer is right now leading them. Well, at this front at least. Let's see if we can attack right here from both sides. Very good. Now you're gonna stay. You're gonna go. You're come on, please retreat right there. You're gonna attack right here, so you can actually delay those units. Uh, let's see. Can we cut off these units? Yes, we probably can. And you guys are gonna now attack right here and try to stop them from reaching any port. You're gonna attack right here. God, like you shouldn't have any supply. Oh wait, you of course have supply since you're still connected to Gondor. But we'll see if we can actually, if we manage to somehow break that, that would be freaking awesome. And well, if you continue breaking me like that, that would be even worse. Uh, let's go down to speed four just in case so I can, well, not do this. Oh my God, and you broke that division that's gonna break you. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is horrendous. This is truly, truly bad. And you just instantly went in there and retook that. Good, you at least took that unit down. You're gonna march in right here and try to liberate these units. Good, that actually took the less attrition guy because you're probably otherwise take quite a bit of horrible attrition right here. Uh, you're actually marching in right there. Let's see if you can actually liberate that unit. God, Ro Gondor's just assigning way too many troops right there. Why are you assigning so many troops right there? Uh, we're gonna boost this up now slightly, thank you time, and then we're gonna take this now black division and just assign along the entire front, because we need to stop them right there on the east. Like we can't do any half measures anymore, they're pushing slightly too much right there for me to be even close to comfortable. And then we're gonna take this red division, assign everything to one, come on, oh not there, not like that, come on, everyone assigned right here, stop. Take the entire front line right now. I don't care where you are and you're going to be assigned to this guy. Come on, just, just do it right now. And you guys is going to join up with the red ones right there. Which is now teal, but I'm going to make them red once again. Because that's a clear distinction from the other ones. And now we're just going to, let's see, wait a tiny bit. God, we lost so many orcs right there. Horrendous, horrendously played. I should have probably just made these changes instantly, but I was too afraid of leaving this front. Until one, well, until I actually knew what they were, well, how well my enemies were. There you go, you're gonna march in right there, except you guys, you're gonna stay exactly where you are. So, well, we're kind of, kind of doing a proper Sauron, attacking, thinking everything is gonna go quite well, and then Go and Gondor came and saved their ass. You're, you're just continuously marching right now. Aren't you thinking you're kind of overextending, dear little Gondor? Hopefully you you are, and I'm actually speaking correctly right now. There you go, and let's see if we can actually march him right here now. Because if you're overextending, taking back all of this territory and then going into Gondor, that would be freaking lovely. Uh, I'm gonna take this, you red guy's gonna be more focused on actually going into Gondor than Rohan. Okay, you stop right now, we just need to stay up a bit polit power, or not polit power, manpower. And we're gonna get two units right here, and hopefully deployed quite soon. We're gonna continue right here with enhanced weapon production. Uh, we're gonna start trading a bit with Kingdom, uh, no, Harad, yeah. Uh, let's see, so we can get all the production we need. Uh, we're not gonna do it right now, we're gonna instead upgrade our current, arch well, our current archer bows. Let's, let's see if we can actually speak correctly and say archers instead of artillery every single time. Uh, let's see, you stop right here, you advance forward, and uh, let's go down to speed 4. So we actually can have some more focus control ev over everything. Uh, let's see, yeah, we still have lost a couple of provinces right here. It would be lovely if we could take them back. So at least could end this episode with our original territory, at least. Our troops are better than theirs, but just slightly. Just very, very slightly. Without those extra infant units I assigned to everyone, I believe we pretty much would have fallen already. Uh, we're gonna get the infantry offense this time, because, well, I mostly go with the offensive one, but I've lately actually started with using the infantry one. I don't know, actually, if you've seen that. I think I I might have shown it in a couple episodes that I actually started using the um, defense one a bit more. But in this case, I just need all the firepower possible to break through everything. And what the hell is this? 
Uh, you guys can attack. Let's see. Actually, you're gonna attack right there together with you guys, and you're gonna see if you can break that division. Because if we cut this off, yeah, well then we get a nice round. And you're gonna march in right here, which is gonna surround even some more units. Very good. Come on. Come on. There we go. Remove that unit, please. Suddenly, we started winning that quarter quite a well. And uh, we're just gonna make sure that everyone is assigned to the proper front and not some pretend front. You're gonna wipe out those units. Mm, otherwise, we're still very much holding. Holding, yeah, but that's not good enough, in my opinion. Uh, you're gonna go in right here, you're gonna go in right there, you are walking in right there, you're gonna stay, you are gonna push in. Okay, good, good. The Urks are now finally pushing back and actually reorganizing into the first galactic hemp. Oh, wait, wrong movie. Uh, yep, good. Isengard is gonna be reorganized to the first galactic empire. <laughs> well, I really want to see some fan art on that. See, basically, the. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. The empire, the reformation of the Republic, but in the well, bordering setting. Uh, push those units back. Thank you. So they are pretty much overextending themselves right now. We can pretty much push them back whenever they are pushing in. So we're going to do a slight change to this front line. The red one is going to go all there. And we're going to take the black and just do this. So we can kind of shuffle around everything because we are pretty much holding the line right now pretty well with just one unit everywhere. So if we just do some slight reshuffling, I think we will be all right. But we need to do it right now before we get any very real progress. We might actually, sh we should maybe have waited until we actually had pushed down a bit more. Uh, I think the right will be fine, but the left might not be. We might have done this slightly too early. Uh, you're gonna just go in right here and take that down. Take a couple of a couple of these divisions that are still needed to, well, help out a bit. Because I, if I lose any more divisions, then that was just complete waste. And we're gonna deploy these units ahead of time right there. And just as soon as you get a tiny bit of organization, help you push back and assign you right here to the, well, red division. So you're gonna push in a bit more right here. That's fine. Now you just need this reorganized so we can actually start pushing forward with our battle plans. There we go, you're gonna now go in right here to infant improve the infantry equipment and uh, we're gonna wait a bit more. That's enhanced weapon production too. Oh gra crap, we never went down that path. Oh shit, um, we'll have to do that ASAP then. Then let's do just, well, get more resources from what we already have. What are we actually building right now? Nothing. Oh, we really can't build anything either. Um, but if we check frontline right here, we actually pushed in one province there right now, that's pretty good. Otherwise, we are holding our provinces. Yeah, it's only this province that are pretty much useless for me that, that we are not holding completely. Uh, let's see if we can actually get one air base right there and see we might be able to get some kind of air force at some point. Uh, get in right here, very good. Um, stability? Oh, the new events right here. The new events that are kind of not, that apparently is not implemented right here. I wonder if that would actually matter at all for me right now just in case i'm gonna make the really good option because i can't take any any penalties right now so i might just run away depending on what that event option is if it's like completely not implemented i'll just give back my 150, 120 blue power if i actually get the bonus then i can assume i would also get a negative then i will not re-add anything right there so we are now wiping out this tiny 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 force right here of Gondorians that dare to enter the uh, territories of Isengard. And there we go. Finally. Restructuring. Re there we go. Fixing this. Nice. Finally, stuff is starting to shape up again. Uh, current losses we have against them is 68,000 versus Gondor, 21 versus Rohan, and 1.3 against Agmar. So hopefully, I'm. I'm I'm hoping these guys get the war goal to attack Mordor. Since I'm not in their faction, I will actually avoid it. But who knows? We'll see. Uh, we can't do this one until we're done transport line, which is going to take quite a bit of time. But we are getting that extra resource slot right there. But I do need that extra steel right now, so I, I want it now. So I can't stop trading for all of this. 
And let's see, we do not seem to get any kind of follow-up event on that stability thing. I'm gonna give it a bit more time, then gonna add the extra stuff uh, for me. Uh, we're still mobilizing troops every single day, that's very good. Yes, continue with that. Uh, are these actually core states for me? No, it's colonial states, too bad. Well, actually it might be pretty good, otherwise we might have fallen. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see, Gondor, they are pretty well spent right now. But they are fighting still quite hard right now. Let's see, Gondor, how are you doing? You have billions and billions of manpower. Both Rohan and Gon Gondor is without manpower. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna have, uh, well, Isengard Mordorian victory right here. Because, yeah, they push too deeply, they push too greedily. And we are gonna bring them down one by one. Yeah, actually, yeah, one by one. So, Rohan... You are pretty much dead. As far as I can see, you have almost no manpower and... Wait, that was the wrong order. No, why, why in hell are you pushing? You were supposed to push, not the other ones. Yeah, I can see that your man, men and equipment are very, very much... Well, <laughs> used, used up. So I'm gonna be quite aggressive right now, bringing down. So Helm's Deep. And these ones are doing nothing. So I'm just gonna do PP 240. Because, well, nothing happens. I'm not getting any follow-up event, event. Actually, draft dodging. I'm getting the bad ones, but nothing happens. Ah, oh, come on. Really? The factor being reduced by 20%? So I can't... Wait, what? I can't succeed with them, but I can't... Oh my god, that, that, that's even worse then. But yeah, there we go. Westfall is mine, so we can stop. Westfall is mine, and what I took from him was a mine. <laughs> Too funny. Uh, where was Gondor when the West Fall fell? Where was Gondor when the enemies surrounded? Well, where was Gondor when the West Fall fell? Where was Gondor when our enemies closed in upon us? Where was Gondor? No, my lord Aragorn. Well, actually, it's a king right now, and you're, they did arrive instantly. But to finish the quote, no, Aragorn, we are alone. Send out riders. You need to call for aid. And who would come? Elves? Dwarves? No, wait, wait, wait. That's oh, actually oh, that's actually before. Ha! Misquote again. Yeah, that's what it says. You need to call for aid. And then he asks about who are we gonna come? Elves, dwarves? We're not as lucky as with the allies as you. Or... He doesn't say allies. He says we're not a, 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 as lucky with friends as you. Or something similar. And point at Gimli and Legolas, and then he said, Gondor will answer, and then Theorid says all the things, and then like, no, Aragorn, we stand alone. No, oh, wait, we are getting this off, so minus 120 PP. Oh, PP minus, PP minus 120. No cheating. But yeah, goodbye, Gondor army. And I want to see how much you have actually lost against me. Uh, 300,000 against me, and you have lost uh, 200. So we are doing the better of I uh, Rohan, and they are doing better of Gondor. Uh, this front line is now very, very wrong. So there we go. You guys, charge. Oh, wait, 21 division, and no one is actually assigned to this, so please continue. And then we're going to take, let's see, three divisions of the black. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, okay, let's do like this. You guys, everyone deployed right here. That was not what I meant to do. Damn it. Uh, I was going to take these guys, make their own army. You're all going to be red now. Join up. No, you're going to be red. There we go. You're going to be assigned here and push into Gondor. And that's your entire front line right now. And then I was going to take these 20 units right now, which someone is now actually in the red army that I didn't think was going to be in the red army. Well, whatever. It's fine. It's good enough. Close enough. Uh, so we have 24,000 men right now. Hmm. We could get some fighters up and rolling, but is anyone else having fighters or anything? Because I don't feel like if no one else have it, then I don't want to have it. If Rohan actually have some fighters, but it's barely anything. So I'm just going to stay focused on actually our real equipment. Uh, let's see, are we missing anything right now? No, we're doing completely fine right there. But to be able to add even more artillery so we can reach a certain level that I like to call 40 combat with, we're going to need some more stuff. So I'm going to add one more right now. Oh god, that's probably gonna drain all my manpower. 
Yeah, it's probably this. But yeah, let's just begin a high production of artillery, please. Uh, you're gonna go in right here, kill off that. And we're gonna continue playing. Very good. Now I'm just waiting for the ends to arrive and completely backstab me. Well, not maybe backstab me, but completely at attack me right there. And I'm like, ah, oh, Rohan, why now? Or ends, why now? We were doing so well. I'm gonna complain about that for a while until I actually manage to hopefully save my nation. Which very much might not happen since, well, the ends, if they come at a certain time, then I might not have enough troops. Uh, this red division, I don't think I have enough right now for you. Um, I need to take down a couple more provinces right here so we can actually, well, have enough units to spread around this entire front. Because now you're getting dangerously close to Helm's Deep to retaking that. I would very much like to keep Helm's Deep because that's a lot of military factory civilians and steel I need. So I'm just going to deploy three additional units right now to you and actually make this one the full and proper while the other one is... Well, the less than one. Kingdom of Rohan has capitulated. Very good. Now they just have some very slight stuff right there. But before we bring down the last king... Well, before we bring down Gondor, take some nice piece of land right here and then begins with focusing on the north. Take all the north and then focus on... The, well, the east are allies. Which we all actually betrayed and she said you're not our allies anymore. But... Um, close enough oh we don't need to do it anymore well whatever so down with gondor next episode bring down the rest of the north next episode after that and the next episode after that which is probably gonna be two episodes bringing down all the north we're gonna bring down mordor and the rest of them and then probably gonna see some more lord of rings nations play through maybe mordor well moria i would really like to try that and actually beat the dwarves we'll see we'll see we'll see i've said we'll see so many times now that should be a drinking game but anyway guys Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye and bye.